everyone. So, hello everyone. Uh, we welcome you to the Wisdom Bite session number two of Toastmaster. We have session of this series, and this is going to be our session number two. In this session, we have Suravanan as our president of Toastmaster Wisdom Bite Club. We welcome you, sir. And along with his, we have a team of uh, different speakers. Uh, we have selected three speakers today. Number one is Zibin, and second one is Arisha, and third one is Wakar, uh, Wakar sir. So I want I, I welcome everyone in the show, and I welcome I, I want everyone to be uh, uh, I want everyone to prepare uh, to be ready for the speeches. So initially, I would like to introduce the president Toastmaster Wisdom Bite Club. Sir, uh, to, uh, Sir Surav Anand, who is working as a product manager in the banking industry, he has an extremely creative person and writes blog and poems in his spare times as well. He has also participated in earlier Navasta's discussions on quotes of famous philosopher. So today we have uh, Surav Anand, sir. Can you please uh, uh, share some a uh, few words with us for introduction purposes? Yeah, Over sure. You, yeah, sure. Uh, thanks a lot, Amber. Um, first of all, a very warm welcome to all of our viewers who have joined this live show and uh, on YouTube. And uh, I would also like to extend a similar welcome to all our fellow speakers who have joined for this live session. Today, we are going to discuss the philosophy of Aristotle and some of the famous quotations of Aristotle, which would be covered by our fellow speakers. However, first and foremost, for the benefit of the audience, I like to touch upon the importance or relevance of philosophy itself as an area of study, why we chose philosophy. Then I like to briefly touch upon the relevance of philosophy in today's modern world. And finally, I like to come up to the reason we chose Aristotle and his quotations for today's discussion. So starting with the uh, idea behind choosing philosophy, uh, in ancient Greece, the term philosophy meant love of wisdom. It was a very diverse subject that covered various different important and relevant areas of our endeavor or human endeavor, covering areas such as reason, existence, knowledge, and language, in addition to a lot more that was covered under the broader umbrella of philosophy. In fact, today's uh, st scientific studies, which are in the field of physics, as well as different uh, areas or topics that are covered under psychology were also covered under the broader umbrella of philosophy during the ancient world. So that was a brief on philosophy per se and why we chose philosophy. I'd like to briefly touch upon a few more aspects in terms of how philosophy is relevant, what is its importance, and then I'd like to come to Aristotle and his teachings or his philosophy. So first and foremost, the importance or relevance of philosophy is because it helps us develop critical thinking. Now, critical thinking is extremely crucial for our success in any area of human activity, whether it is our personal life or our professional life. The concept or the uh, aspects that are covered under the study of philosophy empower us with the tools, the questions that help us argue in terms of what is right, what is wrong, ask the relevant questions and lead to deducing or arriving at the right possible outcome out of different various uh, scenarios, whether it is in the area of our professional life or our personal life. Also, uh, there is an argument in terms of how philosophy is relevant vis-a-vis -vis or versus science. So it is said that while science can help us live longer, it is philosophy which can help us live better because it helps us frame a lot of questions which are relevant to our day-to-day -day life, questions such as the existence or importance or relevance of life and different areas around how we can live better, how we can contribute better, what is more relevant to us, a lot of philosophical questions around uh, whether money is important, whether happiness is important, a lot of these are related to philosophy and they help us lead a much more meaningful life as we go along in the journey of life. So from that perspective, uh, I am certain 
that uh, philosophy is a very core area of uh, a study and uh, by reflecting upon the concepts of famous philosophers philosophers such as aristotle we would empower ourselves with the skills that will help us excel in both our professional as well as personal lives now moving on to aristotle we would be aware that he was one of the foremost philosophers who lived in ancient greece around 4th century bc his study or his area of work extended across different areas such as economics politics ethics and a lot more his concepts or his ideas or his teachings are quite relevant even in today's modern world and it is widely believed that what we see on the internet or even what we eat is largely influenced by philosophy and the philosophical quotations lives and teachings of ancient philosophers so that in a nutshell was a kind of framework that i would like to give on the topic itself why we chose philosophy then how relevant philosophy is in today's modern world which is changing as we go along every day something which is uh, happening it's widely said that we live in a buka world vuca volatile uncertain complex ambiguous so in, even in today's world philosophy and the concepts that philosophy teaches are quite relevant and i've also covered briefly on why we chose aristotle and his teachings with these words i would like to extend a very warm welcome to the fellow speakers and uh, i wish them the very best in uh, their speech in their articulation of whatever topics of uh, aristotle quotations that they have chosen to talk about and uh, i would hand it over back to amber so that uh, the rest of the discussions could go along back to you amber please uh thank you much sir rav and then sir for uh, bringing a light on the topic of philosophy and um wisdom of uh, philosophy of aristotle specifically and thank you for telling us that uh, philosophy is more of the attitude that acts as a guiding principle for our behaviors we understand that philosophy is basically the fundamental nature of knowledge reality and existence especially when considered as a academic discipline with this i i hope i we have the speakers who have actually prepared their speech as well with this i would like to uh, introduce our first speaker jibin joseph uh, he has uh, he has been working in al jabar gallery as a sales ex executive for last 10 years in uae he'll be topic on uh, he'll be discussing few, uh, the topics of aristotle Uh, the first topic is happiness is dependent upon ourselves, and the second one is pleasure in the job. So I would like to give the process to uh, continue with the speech. Uh, Jibin Joseph, are yes. you uh, able to hear uh, me? Good evening, everyone. Uh, so uh, thanks for the uh, invitation. Yes, I am able to hear you. great you can continue hello yes you can continue hello hello are you able to hear me sir yeah yeah so yeah happy so unfortunately due to internet connection uh we might not uh continue with the with the speaker uh we will surely continue with uh, the our second guest speaker uh i would like to introduce vakar gandal sir he has been working in etisalat for around 8 years now can you uh, please uh, sir i would like to uh, ask vakar gandal sir to please uh, start the speech hi good evening uh, my voice is clear yes sir We, uh, we are able to hear. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. As the current Gondal has already introduced by Amber Hor. Good evening to all, and hope so all are doing very well. Uh, today I am. I will speak a little bit about the Aristotle. One of the quotes uh, he is uh, telling about like perfection of job. If you are happy with your job, it will perfect your work. uh this is very true uh, maybe many of us don't know about this and we are doing our jobs randomly and sometime very odd jobs due to 
and availability of jobs. But if, as per my experience, uh, this is 100% true. If we are happy with our jobs uh, and we feel player, if you are player, you will feel interest in doing your job. And some people are uh, following the desire of their parents, but uh, that uh, their son should be pilot, their son should be engineer. I remember some uh, examples. One of my very best friend and very fam uh, close friend. He is best at, uh, maybe you people laugh, he is very best at uh, the, uh, doing the makeup for ladies. But by mistake, their her parents forcefully sending him to be an engineer. But he is not a good engineer. This is the main thing uh, we can consider that uh, he is not feeling happy with this uh, study. And sure, he is not going to do uh, perform very well in the field, but he is uh, good at uh, this one. And uh, now he is running his uh, own business for his interest. And if you see the many other peoples, they are dealing in the, in the field of their interest. They are very well and they are successful. If they are not interested in their field, we will see uh, some top listed uh, businessmen. Uh, I can say give the one example from my country back. His name like um, he's very big man, and uh, he is interested in doing the this construction job. But now he is the running very big company and real estate business. And even he is supporting more than 10,000 employees he's handling in his uh, construction because he likes the construction. He's also good in inherited business of agriculture, but no, he's not interested in the agriculture business. He feel happy building house, then selling, building house, then selling. And he is very perfect in his job. So if you are happy with your job, and you are feeling player in doing some actions, you will be very perfect in your job. But sometimes uh, circumstances, uh, surroundings, and pressures, family pressures, many other things you, you can say, uh, we are doing odd jobs. And the end, we are ended with uh, nothing. And once we are then looking uh, in future perspective, if we see, we are looking for, uh, uh, I will relate here this one, uh, the people who are searching the jobs. Uh, Sometimes if we see uh, uh, CVs, they are mentioning any suitable job. What does it mean? Any suit? It means you are doing the any job for just your living. It's not your player. It's not your perfect profession. And you just need uh, to a little bit survival. But if you select the profession according to your player, it will take time. Everyone will not get the job as they want. But if we uh, select the profession as our choice, according to us, we will perform better. Our performance will be better. And our uh, social life balance will be very good. Our uh, social life job life uh, job and work balance life will be very good if we feel player we can manage the things if we happy with our jobs and this is very true by Aristotle that uh, the player in job will will be a perfection in a job like that I hope so I try to cover the, some aspects right Amba? Uh, yes sir thank you so uh, much for thank you so much. Um, yes, please. Thank you, thank you, Vagar, sir, for enlightening on the topic of pleasure in the job puts perfect in the work, uh, which clearly means that your performance will suffer if you aren't in the right occupation. If you ever had done something you hate doing, you know that you know he's it is not right. Uh, so yes, with, this is true. Uh, yes. Uh, this is very famous. Aristotle said that pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work is really uh, very important for every 
be under uh, who is looking for job who are looking for jobs and uh, who are uh, in the phase of switching to another profession with this i would like to introduce uh, i would like to ask jibin joseph if he is uh, having a good internet connection so he can speak uh, he can start his speech okay uh, so uh, that time there was a small introduction inter internet uh, connection missing so now i would like to continue this uh, the topic so my topic is uh, happiness is uh, depends upon ourselves so the famous uh, philosopher aristotle quote is a very wonderful meaningful uh, quote this one so uh, i would like to say some few fact about this uh, we are uh, almost uh, every time we are uh, searching for the happiness like materialistic things or uh, uh, happiness from others so this is not the right thing the happiness is uh, depends our, our, upon ourselves only so we have to find out the uh, in ourselves and uh, uh, the main thing uh, uh, some e example i would like to share if uh, the situation we faced uh, some uh, challenges in our life like uh, in a workplace uh, two people are uh, conflict in between in front of us so the first of all uh, uh, it's it's also uh, affect our self also because uh, we are also involving in that area so the negative energy will come uh, in our uh, our side so we have to be uh, uh, positive in uh, ourselves and we have to decide what should be the need to be like we have to take the negative mindset or positive mindset so the meaningful is uh, the bottom line bottom line up is we have to take the positive uh, mindset in ourselves and be positive always so and we can find uh, some uh, uh, like uh, uh, things in uh, surroundings like beautiful sunset or kind words uh, uh, from uh, other people and we can also share uh, some good positive thoughts to other people so in that way it will be uh, we can find happiness in ourselves so the next topic is uh, like uh, pleasure in the job and it will be make perfect in the work so this is very one of the beautiful quote from aristotle because uh, we always uh, be positive uh, mindset and keep working in our uh, surrounding so it will be give a good uh, perfection in our uh, workplace so the uh, main uh, things are like uh, time management is one of the important thing and always uh, give a uh, uh, good positive mentality to the workplace and uh, keep our uh, things like uh, personal things aside and work uh, fully concentrated mind in workplace so it will be uh, personal growth and uh, uh, the uh, also for the company growth also it will be help so in that way uh, we can uh, work and uh, make a good uh, surroundings in our workplace so i would like to uh, exp uh, explain one of my previous experience that i had uh, a few uh, months ago uh, i am also working for that tourist guide in uh, abu dhabi so on that time uh, my guest and uh, me uh, uh, committed in a tour in abu dhabi so all the places are uh, on time uh, it's uh, allocated so they were very happy and we run uh, on the bus uh, we are in, we are on the bus uh, on the tour bus but unfortunately what happened there was a small traffic uh, occurred and the people uh, the guests were very unhappy because they thought that maybe the destination will not reach on time so they were like little bit very hesitated and uh, and uh, that time i i take the initiative and i thought uh, we were, we will make a group uh, chain song so i interact with everyone people uh, on guest then i made a chain song with them uh, so they were very happy and a few hours after the traffic is changed and uh, there were uh, move uh, uh, we were moved to the another location so on that way we uh, make a happiness mode uh, creative it will be help uh, to there were there were not problem on that time so everybody very happy so the like that initiative we took in our workplace so this the this quote will be very meaningful this is all uh, about uh, this topic thank you for all of you
thank you then joseph sir uh, for enlightening uh, on the topic of happiness depends on ourselves yes it is very true that it depends on our mindset the habits we practice and the way we live each day by learning the eight key ingredients of happiness we can use them to become more happier every day so with this i would like to introduce our third guest speaker uh, which is arisha i think arisha did uh, arisha is not with us uh, as of now so as of now i would like to start uh, my introducing myself and uh, i will speaking i will be speaking upon uh, about the topic of how the unity helps in making uh, uh, making the nation successful so basically i am an industrial engineering uh, engineer and have done masters in manufacturing and from the past uh, couple of years uh, i have been working in manufacturing firms back in pakistan recently i have moved to abu dhabi and i'm currently not a working uh, woman so uh, today i will be speaking about the topic of unity and how it has impacted in the past uh and how nations can successfully achieve their targets their uh, uh their uh, targets with this unity uh basically unity is a crucial uh, unity is crucial because it it provides power strength and courage to everyone when people come together they can achieve more than what they could individually do Unity is often seen on the workplaces where team members work together to complete a task. It is also seen on local communities where people come together for help purposes. But there are people who are not. Uh, there are nations who are not practicing unity as of now, and we have seen the worst scenario on those. Uh, on uh, they are they are facing worse case scenarios in the current inflation and in past COVID a uh, COVID era. with this i would uh, i uh, usually we have uh, usually people do not understand the concept of unity they think that it is just the just a general it, it is just the part of their daily life but it is not it is a mindset that we have to practice as a nation as a people on this planet to save this to save humanity and to save uh, the uh, uh, the bigger purposes so usually uh when we have uh, there are many aristotle uh, quotes for example where there is a unity there is always a victory so unity will never uh, demolish the concept of uh, a, a concept of uh not uh, not success unsuccessful most of the time uh and also with all the bad thing that are happening in the in the world right now i think we should send we should need a message together a message of togetherness and true unity otherwise we as a human cannot persist on this planet in the last month uh, in the last week we have seen the news of uh, india landing on the moon and fi- figuring out if we can if a human can live on different planet and if the human can find something good out of the moon and out of the air out of the space but the question again is if we cannot make uh, our uh, make this world bearable and livable then how can we make other planet livable with us so it's always the unity that matters it's always the humanity and kind- kindness that matters uh in the bigger perspective to uh, uh, so that we can achieve our goals uh together with this i would like to conclude my speech that whenever uh, whatever you are doing be sure that uh you can do it in a groups in a team so that you can achieve fruit uh, which are uh, multiple of what you are doing and in this way you can run a chain of good things so that it can it can uh, be res- uh, it can be useful for the people who are in the uh, who, uh, uh, it will be useful for the generation who are coming uh, in the next uh, few decade so i would like to uh, uh, introduce uh, i would like to sh- uh, ask mr sir uh, sir surav anand to share his thoughts and uh, hello yeah uh, thanks a lot amber i hope i am uh, audible to everybody 
Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, so I would just like to uh, kind of summarize the discussions that have taken place so far with uh, a few more points that, that I'd like to touch upon on the topics that have been uh, discussed so far. So uh, first, Jibin referred to uh, the quotation of uh, Aristotle, which is uh, around pleasure in the job leading to uh, happiness in our lives. And uh, he mentioned that uh, if we are happy in whatever job or role that we are performing today, it will make us better suited and it will help us contribute better. So I am reminded to uh, reminded of the famous quotation by Steve Jobs. We all know who Steve Jobs is. Uh, today, a lot of us hold one or the other of Apple products and it has made a remarkable difference to how we look at technology, how we conduct our lives, how we communicate and so on. So in one of his famous speeches, he had mentioned that we should do what we love and we should love what we do. So till the time we come across a role or a job that is suited to our liking, that complements our skill sets and that is aligned to our view of what we would like to do, we should keep on searching for that job. And he had also mentioned that it's one of uh, those moments where once that opportunity would come, we would know that this is the role, this is the opportunity that we would like to pursue. So that quotation or that speech of Steve Jobs is very strongly aligned with the quotation of Aristotle, which talks about pleasure in the job leading to happiness itself. And that is what uh, was referred to by uh, our first speaker, Bakar, when he spoke that uh, if we are happy in what we are doing, we will give our 100% and the outcome for the organization would also be even more optimal versus a role where we or our skill sets are not perfectly aligned and we are doing it just because we are not able to find an opportunity that is better aligned with our professional or technical skill sets as well as our softer skills. So uh, that is my take around uh, pleasure in the job leading to happiness where if we are able to align our soft skills as well as our technical skills to a role, we would be better placed in terms of performing to the best of our ability and the organizations where we work for would also benefit because we would be 100% aligned with the direction of the organization and our skill sets would map perfectly with the role which is on hand. That's an ideal world scenario. So as Steve Jobs had said, that we need to keep on looking, we need to keep on searching. The moment we come across that position or that role or opportunity, we would come to know that this is it. So that is my take on uh, the quotation around uh, pleasure in the job leading to happiness. The other quotation that uh, was touched upon was around uh, happiness depending around ourselves. So uh, my take on this is that a state of happiness or the lack of it, which we could call as unhappiness, is governed by how we respond to a particular situation. And uh, a lot of philosophical thought is around ensuring that in a particular situation, we respond and not react. Because if we react, then it creates a vicious cycle of negativity around us. So it's not that a particular event leads to us going in a shell or going us uh, or us going on a back foot it's how we respond to that particular event whether it's an event in our personal life or an event in our professional life so if we are in a position to develop a protective shield around us so that regardless of whatever happens uh, we are not taken aback we do not move into a shell or we do not move into a situation of negativity if we are in a position to develop that then regardless of whatever adverse situation comes to us, whether in our personal or professional life, we would still continue to be in a state of happiness. It may not be a perfect state, but it would definitely be a state where we can continue to deliver both on our personal as well as professional commitments. So uh, this is my take on those two aspects. I fully agree with uh, what you talked about with regard to unity, because uh, today we are living in a world where there are differences across nationalities, differences across religion, differences across gender, differences ac across economic strength of uh, countries. And there is a widespread need of not just uh, all individuals or all people living in a particular country, but for all the nations to come together. Because if you are looking at the globe as such, 
there are huge challenges around climate change around global warming around uh, the conflicts that we see which are uh, in place in uh, uh, europe and they are having a profound impact on our lives even though we are not present in europe because uh, there is an impact that uh, war plays on a lot of uh, activities that happen across the globe so today more than any time ever there is a requirement of uh, not just people who are part of a particular country to work together but that unity or that spirit of uh, human brotherhood has to extend across all the different countries that are uh, part of our world today so that's the need of the r and uh, the sooner the different organizations the different uh, world bodies that represent the humanity uh, as such wake up to it uh, the better it will be for uh, the benefit of humanity as such i think uh, arisha has joined so perhaps uh, i'll hand it over back to you amber you can uh, give her introduction and uh, then she can cover the topic of aristotle that he has come that she's come prepared for today uh, sure thank you so much uh, now we would like to introduce our third guest speaker which is basically a pharmacist passionate about teaching training uh, she has done foundry and sciences with teaching from this pakistan certified trainer from uh, teach and seek platform certified online educator from hamdan bin muhammad smart university uae con conducting online sessions on different topics including pre pre preparatory classes for us for us board certification arrange seminars conferences and events and manage social media groups we would like to uh, i would like miss arisha if she has a good internet connection to join and uh, start her speech hello everyone uh, kindly bear with a little camera problem uh, otherwise internet is fine so uh, may i start the speech now sure yeah as we are talking about uh, aristotle's philosophy today uh, i chose the topic uh, what we are we are what we repeatedly do excellence then is not an act but a habit let's think about what is a habit uh, give a second to yourself uh, habit is something which we uh, do with our, our whole heart which we enjoy doing and which we do without any fear of failure failure or uh, without any uh, uh, pressure like we were not feeling uh, any pressure when we are doing our habit we are performing something by our whole heart so this is how we can actually achieve excellence uh, aristotle's whole philosophy is actually revolving around you something you enjoy something you try to do something uh, you put your heart into so uh, to achieve excellence we can uh, put our whole heart in uh, performing a task in performing uh, an activity and we should have a perseverance like if we have uh, we have failed sometime then we should stand up we should face our obstacles and we should be ready to get up and uh, uh, overcome our difficulties our problems this is how the people who are famous right now have achieved their places you don't remember what hurdles uh, bill gates fa uh, faced what hurdles uh, uh, elon musk faced and other uh, big names but you remember what they have achieved so do something and do it repeatedly to achieve the excellence if you are doing it repeatedly in short time or in a longer period of time you will be able to achieve the excellence level and when you are doing excellence level means you will do it again and again you will be excellent in every try you will do but for uh, reaching that level you have to uh, face a lot of struggle but keep trying keep going forward keep working hard keep doing mistakes and learning from that mistakes uh, you have done those mistakes you have done in your past so this is how you can achieve uh, your task and this is how you can uh, go to a level that people look up on uh, on you and your achievements and this is uh, how we can uh, get the excellence level thank you uh thank you dr arisha for putting a light on uh, what habits are and what uh, what do we need to achieve to get the excellence in any field uh with mm -hmm. this we will do our session i would like uh, dr sir surav anand if he can uh, 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 
he can say something as a closing remark so that we can conclude this yeah sure uh, so thanks a lot to amber and thanks a lot uh, dr arisha for your valuable insights just to add on to what dr arisha mentioned around uh, the quotation which uh, mentioned that we are what we repeatedly do by aristotle i am reminded of uh, a very famous example that was given in uh, the book called outliers by malcolm gladwell where he mentioned that to develop expertise one needs to put in around 10000 hours of practice so when we are looking at an area let's say cricket in sports or fine arts such as painting music or whatever there is a certain number of uh, hours or days that needs to be spent to reach a particular level of perfection and this is in a way what aristotle was also meaning when he talked about doing or or about being what we repeatedly do in order to achieve a certain level of excellence so if we want to reach a level where the examples that were given were about bill gates elon musk or if we look at the field of uh, sports we could talk about uh, idols such as sachin tendulkar in cricket or lionel messi or diego maradona or pele uh, in football so all these greats reached a particular level of excellence or expertise a by having the exceptional gift or talent that they had and b and perhaps more importantly by doing things repeatedly and practicing and honing their craft over a period of time so that also applies to our field of professional endeavor regardless of whichever area of professional pursuit we are in if we are not polishing ourselves if we are not upskilling ourselves on a regular basis over a period of time as technology evolves we will be reaching a stage where our skill sets will no longer be relevant so we might be even staring at redundancy if we are not in a position to sharpen the saw as it is uh, called so we should be in a position to keep uh, upskilling ourselves to polish ourselves in terms of our skill sets to develop our softer skills because uh, it is also said that after a particular level our level of uh, excellence or expertise or recognition is more a function of how we articulate and communicate and less a function of our technical skills so we need to work on both our technical skills as well as the softer skills in terms of how we communicate in terms of how, of how we express our ideas how we convince people how we use logic to explain our ideas so all of those aspects are extremely crucial and over a period of time if we are in a position to do repeatedly to practice rehearse and uh, upskill ourselves then we will be in a position of uh, excellence and we would be able to achieve not just organizational objectives but also our professional objectives in terms of achieving whatever goals we have set for ourselves in terms of our professional journey so uh, those are some of my uh, key takeaways or my insights in terms of uh, this topic that was touched upon by dr arisha from uh, aristotle's quotations uh, i hope that uh, our audience would have benefited from this discussion unfortunately there were some technical glitches that came in the way of uh, the message reaching the entire audience however i'm sure that uh, the broader gist or summary of what we were together trying to convey would have been uh, un understood by them and uh, they would be also in a position to understand and appreciate how philosophy and discussions around philosophy are relevant in, even in today's dynamic and fast paced uh, modern world so with those words i would like to once again thank all the uh, participants who participated today and uh, also the audience that uh, viewed our uh, discussion live on youtube so over to you amber for the closing remarks then thanks a lot um thank you uh, sir ram uh with this i would like to close the whole uh, program and thank everybody for joining us on youtube live and thank you all the speaker and specifically the president of master of wisdom bites club sir uh, surav anand for their closing remarks and time to time uh, and um, and uh, also schedule the whole uh, program for all of us thank you once again everybody and we will update you in the next uh, session about the next topics so uh, keep watching um, uh, learning from all of us thank you everybody thanks a lot